Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I know it's Project Pan Week. Um, for today's video, I am updating you on my Pan That palette for this year. So I have chosen a face palette and an eyeshadow palette that I will be working on for the full year until I have hit pan in either specific shades from the eyeshadow palette or I'm seeing how I feel about my face palette and I may roll in a new face palette next month, but we'll see. So for now, I'm going to update you on my progress and talk about how things are going. Uh, before we get into it, I hope you will click that subscribe button. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'm doing such a good job this week. I did get Saturday's video up on time. So fingers crossed we can continue with this schedule. But so far, so good. Um, I would also love it if you followed my Instagram. I love talking about makeup on my Instagram. I post cats sometimes. Uh, you may see the cats roaming around in the background occasionally. A lot of cats. I love makeup. We just talk about stuff. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, for my palette of the year, if you have not seen my original video, I am working on panning the very gross <laughs> uh, Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, we didn't make a lot of progress, but I, visible progress. I didn't make a lot of visible progress, but I have made some awesome progress that I'm really excited about. So um, I will hopefully have a picture on the screen of what my palette looked like last month. And then for this month, this is what we look like. So if you can see, I have made some progress in this, what is this, dusty rose shade. So I have hit side pan in Dusty Rose. And then I was also working on Burnt Orange here. And that had teeny tiny baby pan. And I have now made the pan just slightly bigger. Can you focus, please? So pretty happy with that progress. Um, besides that, I have been using this brown shade a lot, Cypress Umber. I've made a bit of a dip in Cypress Umber. I used a lot of Cypress Umber, Orange Soda, and Burnt Orange this month. I used it mostly to blend out some of my green looks or blend out this look today. You know? So, I've been using mostly the mattes. I know that I said that I was trying to pan all the shimmers in this, and I have not made very good progress in the shimmers. I did use bronze. Jeez, I'm so bad at this. I used bronze once this month. I used sultry twice. I tried to use it as an outer V shade where I kind of blended it out and it didn't work out well. It looked very awful. So I will not be blending sultry out anymore. I will either need to use it all over the lid or just give up on it. And I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence because sultry looks so underwhelming on the eyes. It doesn't even look like a shimmer shadow. That's why I thought maybe blending it out and using it as matte would be more helpful. No. no. And then I use glistening as an inner corner highlight occasionally. Uh, I kind of neglected fairy this month. And that's about all the progress I made. Oh, I did use mulberry to deepen out some outer V looks and it went pretty well. So I do have pan in one, two, three, four shades. I am trying to hit pan in all the shimmer shades, which is very hard when you're only focusing on the mattes, but I did want to see how much progress I could make in the mattes, and I'm kind of liking using this as a matte, using this as a matte palette, because, mm, I mean, I love Glistening and Fairy and Bronze is fine, but I'm finding that Sultry is kind of meh. And then the other three shimmer shades just don't go as well with the Mulberry shade or, yeah, or the Dusty Rose shade. So I'm trying to finish up Dusty Rose. I'm hoping by next month I will have Dusty Rose finished. We shall see about that. And I would just like to make the pan bigger in burnt orange. So 
So those are my goals for next month. We'll see if that happens. So then for my face palette. And as I told you last month, I was kind of neglecting it. I kind of neglected it a little bit more this month. Well, a little. I continued to kind of neglect it. And then the last week or so, I've been using it pretty consistently. So that's the other reason if you saw my Project Pan update, I have not rolled in a new blush into my Project Pan because I would like to get more use out of this. So this is what my palette looks like. You may or may not be able to tell that I have used the blush a little more. And then the bronzer I tried to use, but it's so hard. And same with the highlight. I just need to scrape off that top layer and get off the hard pan and see if it's worth salvaging. So I am loving the blush though. I'm wearing the blush today. It's just soft and peach. It's not too terrible. And it does swatch pretty well. It's not hard pan. It's just kind of light. You can barely see that. Yep, there we go. So it's just like a nice light peachy shade. And I like it. Bronzer's kind of meh. I don't know if I'll keep using the bronzer. And then the highlight, I'll have to scrape off that top layer and see how I feel. But I am enjoying using this blush. And I think for spring, this is perfect. So I did say there was a chance that I was going to roll this um, face palette out. But I think until we hit... April. April is the first refresh. In June. Until we hit July, I may not swap out my face palette. I may just keep going, see how I feel about this. Maybe I'll keep it in until we get to the cooler months. But for now, I'm really enjoying this blush, and we'll see how I feel about the other two products. But when I tried to use the bronzer twice this month, oh my gosh, it was so bad. And then the highlight just didn't work at all, so I just gave up. But I'm loving this blush, and I remember why. I was so excited about this palette, why it's stayed through so many declutters, even though it's so old. It's just a top-notch blush. Mm, so good. Probably should have just bought the single blush, but I thought more bang for your buck. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my Pan That Palette updates. I am hoping to make some more progress by next month. Fingers crossed. I'm really hoping. So. Um, let me know how your Pan That Palette is going if you are working on one. And that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one.